Hello again. We are Strings Attached, and I'm Mallory. And I'm Farina. And we are at home, bored, um, under the quarantine still, and we haven't really worked on that much in the last couple days, but we have gathered up a bunch of stuff that we have had done for a while that we haven't got to show yet. And we're going to show that to you because a lot of this stuff was at my house, which is currently under construction and I can't, I couldn't get to it. So I had my husband, um, walk on the, on the beams and go get into the bedroom and get our stuff out so we could show <laughs> the stuff that we've yeah. been dying to show. So, um, we'll start with, I guess we'll start with that stuff. So this is all things that we've made within the last month, I would say, um, that we couldn't show yet. Okay. So, I'll start with this one because I talked about it once. So, I made this. It was called Watermelon Baby Cardigan. And I don't remember who wrote the pattern, but it was free on Ravelry. Um, I think I went down a needle size, though, because I wanted to make it um, for like a newborn to three month size. Um, and then I just used a piece of um, baby, like a little baby coat that I have. It's a three month size to get the length. And uh, yeah, so you can see it's like a little watermelon slice with the little black buttons. And this is all made out of Karen Simply Soft. I don't remember all the colorway names, but. Strawberry was the pink. Yeah. But then white, I think. Just white. And then I don't know what the green one was. I've had that green yarn for a few years now. So yeah. So I'm, I've am i got that one. And then I'm working on, I showed this already. But I'm working on one that's an apple. And I couldn't work on it because I needed the watermelon one to get the size that I made. <laughs> so I couldn't work on it, but. This one is an apple, and I showed it a couple videos ago. You'll see what it, how it looks like an apple slice. And then I've got these little, oh my gosh, look at that dog. <laughs> you have to get her out of there. <laughs> so <laughs> I've got these jumpy seats that I put together that <laughs> came in the mail. <laughs> and my dog jumped up and got in one. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, so here's the apple one. And I ordered some really cute apple buttons that are gonna go on the front of it. Which, where are they? I don't know. Anyway, they look like little apples. So, it's not that hard to picture. Oh well, they're in here somewhere. Okay, anyway, moving on. So, the watermelon one. And then I talked about this one on my very first video. I had it on the needles. Um, I used the um, Baby's Neck Down Cardigan pattern from Knitting Pure and Simple. We've showed it a lot of times. We call it the Keaton Sweater. Um, I don't have the pattern right here, but... I used it and then modified it for a pullover. And again, I've already talked about it a couple of times, but now it's done. So this is made out of Karen Simply Soft as well. And it, uh, except for the Bernat Dippity Dots orange stripe, it was all yarn that I used um, to make these blankets that I'm gonna show here in a minute, just leftover yarn. So this is probably a six month size, just a little cute pullover sweater. But I've had that done for a while and I couldn't show it. So there's that. And then I talked about this one in our second video. Same pattern, baby's neck down cardigan. I used yarn that mom and I both just dug in our scraps and I got whatever I could find. It's an Easter egg. Yeah, it's very Easter egg. <laughs> um, Easter cardigan. But yeah, it's got the Bernat <clears throat> Dippity Dots, green and pink. I got the button sewed on. I think I talked about that last time. Didn't have my button sewed on. Got my hood all finished. Yeah, so this is, um, I modified it and used bigger needles just to make it, a, I wanted it to fit around nine months. So it's a, it's the six month size um, pattern, but I used the bigger needles and made a nine month size out of that. Finally done. Finally done. And this is the big one, and, or one of my big ones. I talked about this last time. I had a swatch made and I had my yarn and I did start it that night, but I I got it done in like a couple of days basically. And I haven't, yeah, been, able to, much. I haven't been able to talk about days, it because it it's about been in my house, locked away. So this is my, um, I used the Sweet Pea Cardigan pattern um, out of the Cascade um, 60. 60 Quick Baby Knits book. I've talked about it two or three times now. But then I, um, instead of doing Sweet Peas, I applicate on little strawberries. So here it is, the Strawberry Cardigan. And there's my little strawberries applicate on. And I used little green, like glittery gingham buttons with my same um, ribbon that I used on my Sweet Pea. It's from May Arts. It's what was um, actually like used in the pattern. I looked it up and found it online. And then there's the hood. The strawberries just go up all the way, just like the Sweet Peas did. 
And then mom made me this little pom-pom and we sewed it on. <laughs> so cute. It turned out really nice. Yes, and this is made of, um, I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby. And I think it was just light pink, white, red. Yeah. And, and green. I think that they might have been called, the green might have been called sage or something, but. It was that same green. Very, of the sweet pea, yeah. Yeah. But yes, very, very cute and very soft. Just really soft cotton. Um, I uh, had the same problem on this one with the front band. It wants to curl and like kind of pucker out. So I have just recently learned about steam blocking and you can do it to cotton yarn. Um, and so I think I'm going to steam block on those front bands. The rest of the sweater doesn't need to be blocked. It lays really nice. But just those front bands, I think I'm gonna steam block them and try to get them to lay flat. Um, let me go back and talk a little bit about how my experience with blocking has gone. So I've always knitted with acrylic yarn. I've just now started to get into, it may be cotton some, but I've just now started getting into using like wools and stuff. And so to me, blocking was always just a waste of time because first of all, I'd never really seen anybody do it because nobody else besides mom yeah. that I know really even knits. And so I did not know about steam blocking. I just thought blocking was getting your sweater wet and laying it out and pinning it and letting it dry. Well, with acrylic yarn, it doesn't do anything to the, to the work because as soon as you take the pins out, it just goes right back to the way it was. And I was like, this is such a waste of time and stupid. And why would you, <laughs> you know, you get this project done and then you have to wait two days for it to dry, for it to do nothing to it. So I didn't know what blocking really was because I had, I was using the wrong kind of yarn for that kind of blocking. Well, I've been watching YouTube tutorials and stuff and these women are steam blocking their acrylic work and it, it makes the stuff lay really flat. Well, you can do that with cotton too. And it's like instant. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait. You, you don't have to it. wait two days for you it to work. It. Yeah, it so I'm going to, yeah. I am going to block my stuff from now on. And I, so I have to take back what I originally said that blocking was a waste of time and I don't like to do it because I'm hooked on it now. And so and let me talk about this really quick. So um, this is my Soldatna. Last video, I had it on the blocking mats because this is made of um, Cascade 220. So it's, this is wool. Um, so I actually blocked this like you're supposed to. And it needed it because all this color work was like wet ripply blocking. and lumpy. Yeah, wet blocking. And I actually, I did, um, I put some hair conditioner in my water. I, I watched or something somewhere that since wool is a natural fiber, just like hair, you can soften it with hair conditioner. So I put some hair conditioner in the water and soaked it for 30 minutes and then, you know, did the whole process, blah, 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 laid it out, let it dry for a, a little, days. a little over a day, but oh my gosh, it turned out beautiful. And I am, um, almost 27 weeks pregnant right now. So, but it still fits. It's just stretched out. So I'm going to show you here how beautiful it turned out. It's so pretty and it's just so soft. And you can see there's no lumps anywhere. It's just, oh, the blocking. I, I literally just have to take eat my words because blocking is wonderful. And I'll probably do it for everything now. If I'm acrylic, I'm steam blocking. If I'm wool, I'm going to wet block. <laughs> but, oh, it's so pretty and soft. And I really, this was my problem right here. This was too tight when I first made it. So I really, really stretched this little dark band when I blocked it. And it dried perfectly. It fits me like a glove. I love it. <laughs> it's great. So we've got yarn ordered for mom. I'm going to make her one. Um, it's acrylic yarn. So we'll steam block it. But it'll be pretty too. Yeah, I can't wait on that one. Yes, yeah, so we, we picked out all it's this pretty. wool. And we got to our cart at the end. And it was like $120. <laughs> I didn't pay that much for this wool. It must have been on clearance or something. But uh, so we were like, hmm, let's look at acrylic yarn. <laughs> We're not quite ready to drop 120 on a sweater yet. But anyway, so here's my Soldatna. I'm so proud of it. I couldn't wait to do this podcast to show it. So anyway, um, a couple more things for me. Oh, yeah. So I showed this last time. This is crocheted. I got the pattern from Daisy Farm Crafts. Uh, she has an Instagram and a YouTube and a website. Um, her and her daughter, maybe daughters, write patterns and um, crochet, make beautiful stuff. And they use affordable yarn. They use like- Yarn inspiration stuff. Yeah, uh -huh. stuff you can buy at like Michael's and Joann's. Uh -huh. um, so anyway, I got my Modern Hearts baby blanket all done. I have two of them made, but this is the one that I talked about last time. I had my border to put on and I got it all done. I forget what the border was called, but it was really time consuming. <laughs> but I got her done and then I, it's acrylic yarn. This is made from Karen Simply Soft. And I got it done and I steam blocked it and it's like, oh, 
even though it was already soft, it's like baby, baby soft. So I'm excited about that. Unfortunately, all this stuff has to be washed because it was at my house and my house is dusty and smells like construction site. So these kind of have a smell, so they're gonna have to be washed. But, and this is my second one, but I've already shown this. But yeah, so I'm gonna have twin girls and they're each gonna have a blanket on their crib. This one's in the soft green, Karen Simply Soft and White. But yeah, so that is all for me, I think. Okay. And now we'll move on to mom's FOs <laughs> for the last couple months. We did show this before, but I did not have all the buttons on it. So it's all finished. Got the pretty little glass buttons on it and mm -hmm. turned out really good. I'm trying to do a pink one. I've had problems, had to rip out twice. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyway, I've been working on a pink one just like this. <laughs> yeah, and this is also Karen Simply Soft. Yeah, it is. And um, I think we decided three to six months size. That's what we were This is a really, for. we've talked about it. It's a really old red heart pattern. It's It's got yeah. like a number for a name. So yeah. it's another, but yeah. It was Colton and Clark. It was Colton and Clark's then, not your inspirations. Yeah. Yep. And so, yeah, it's got these little, we'll have to order some pink diamondy buttons for the pink one. But yes. So we didn't get to show that before with all the buttons on. Okay, and uh, we've talked about these, but you've never seen these either. These are the two ripple Africans that I crocheted. Yes. And um, this was um, Hobby Lobby. Baby B. Baby B. Mm -hmm. Baby Soft is real, pretty mm -hmm. soft, I think. Yeah, it's and acrylic so, yarn, but it is really soft. Mm -hmm. And if I steam this, it will be like, again, baby, baby soft. Yeah, it's it wouldn't really, really, wouldn't really have to be. It's not really I mean, necessary, it's, but... It's kind of a nice look yeah. the way it is. Yeah. That was the... Mint Aqua, I call it. Yeah, we don't. I don't remember the name. <laughs> I think it's Aqua. But anyway, and this is the little peachy pink one. Yeah. So she'll have two of those, one on each bed. Yep. Kind of matches her heart ones mm -hmm. that she made. And then the um, little sweaters that you made are made out of these same yarns. Yeah. So they match the sweaters. Yeah, the ones made. we showed before, yeah. So yeah. These yeah. are just basic baby ripple afghan. Yeah. I don't think there was not, I mean, it was just a pattern you got free online, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. It was easy. That was that. Was that. And um, yeah. We never talked about this. Mm -mm. We got this from uh, Daisy, Daisy Farm Crafts. From her gingham blankets. This is the first one I made, so it's a little bit wonky in places, but it turned out <laughs> pretty good. So, yeah. Yeah. So, and we I, used her um, gingham technique from her gingham mm -hmm. blankets, but this just made it a table runner uh, mm -hmm. width yeah. and length. Yeah, so and I yeah. have it in my... Um, bench right now as a like looks like a pad yeah mom's got her kitchen is farmhouse and yeah. she's got the black and white gingham like curtains and yeah so little... i recently painted it gray and all that stuff yeah so that goes so, in her kitchen really well right now okay over there. you want to show those really old sweaters yeah so these are funny okay <laughs> i kept thinking years ago i had we had three girls early on and then 15 years later, we had Mallory. So this was in the 70s. I made this <laughs> little sweater outfit. It's little, so it's kind of fan, a little fan. Yeah. Fan I'm sure that fan. stitch has a name, but I don't know. Well, it might say here in the book. I got the book. Oh, you found the book. Oh my gosh, you found the book. Yeah. That's awesome. So the book was, let's see, it's called <laughs> Beautiful Baby Book, Infants to Four Years. It's Columbia Marina, Marina? Minerva. Minerva. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Look at that little girl on the front. And I've, cute. I've made, through the years, I made several for the first three girls out of this book. But this was uh, the little pattern. Aww. I did not make the blanket, but I made the little. And I think the booties, I didn't find them, but they're somewhere. But you made the hat. Made the hat and the little sweater. And it is called Columbine. 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 Number 7668. Yep. So, <laughs> and they I, used to do their pattern books. Do they do this anymore? Huh. Like how they put all the pictures in the middle, and then yeah, all they're the all in the middle. Yeah, I'm, some of you know you've had you've got books like this. Well, all the pictures are in the middle, and then the patterns are all on the sides. Yeah, yeah. A lot but, of her old books are like that. Yeah. And I'm looking at them. I'm like, where's the picture? I don't. I'm not just gonna make this blindly. But then they're all in the middle. Yeah, but it, it was a really good book. In fact, this is a book. My book I couldn't find, and it was falling apart. Mm. So I got on. Um, oh, you ordered another copy. I forget, I don't know, eBay or something, and got and found Etsy, Etsy or some and found this and ordered another one. I didn't one. know that. That's cool. Yeah, so I've got the old one somewhere, but it's all falling apart. <laughs> so yeah, but look, it's got the little hat. This is made from like, it looks like baby weight, like maybe even no, it's not fingering. But it's, it's not it's fingering. Like size it's two like two probably. Sport weight. It's baby yarn. Yeah, little That's hat. What we always call but it. But it's like 
It's like so it's scr that's scratchy. <laughs> it's so scratchy. Like but all, it's old. All they used back then was like Red Heart. That's it. That's but all it, you guys yeah, had. Yeah, but it was old. Too. It is old. I mean, it's old, but yeah, it's been washed a lot. But I'm wondering if we steamed it. <laughs> we might. If I would be able to use it. I'm not putting this on my baby. It's like sandpaper. It, it's just a but keepsake if, that I kept. Yeah, but if we can steam it and make it, that's been felted. This one, I think I must have felted it. It must have a little bit of wool in it. That's an old one, too. And I do not know where this pattern came from, but I like this pattern. I wish I had it. Mm -hmm. If anybody knows what this pattern is, it would be great. But um, It has definitely been felted. Mm -hmm. So it had a little, you know, little white buttons all the way down. It's got a button missing. Oh, no, maybe not. But anyway, that was for Julie. And what's funny about these buttons is I'm pretty sure I have this huge mason jar of buttons that came from some from you and some from Grandma. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure I have. I'm sure you these do. Buttons. If they come from Grandpa, I've looked through it a bunch of times because I've used stuff out of it. She like, does with me. She'll come and look at my buttons and try to <laughs> find buttons. And I used to do that with my mom. I'd go and say, "What kind of buttons do you have? Let me look and see if I might find buttons to match." So yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen those little pearl buttons in that jar. So <laughs> we've got those still. But I think if we steam these, maybe they'd be soft enough to at least. If we put them on my girls, we could at least take a little picture. Just take a picture of them. Yeah. yeah. So oh, I, I think scream. that one was made for number two daughter, Julie. And I think I made this one for number three daughter, Becky. And I do have one that I made. I was just learning to knit with number one daughter, Laura. And I don't have that sweater right here. So anyway, that's some old stuff. <laughs> okay. You talk about your sewing and I'm going to put my free to dress on while you talk about it. Okay. Well, I've just got this to talk about. So No, you have. And you have to talk about the patterns. Oh, okay. All right. I have another top. I haven't made anything new in the last month or two. Anyway, this is, like I say, I've been watching Viv Mom and Joy Burnett, and it inspired me to get out my sewing skills. And this shirt is Quick Sew. This, this one with the longer sleeves, number K3954. That is what this one is. So, that's what I made today. <laughs> okay, then Mallory has the dress that I made her. Free to dress. Yeah. Like it's, I said, all I'm wearing right now is dresses. Because I'm the mom. And it, it's really soft. It was a little hard to sew because it's, like it's so thin. Knit. Yeah, jersey knit is what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it she, is. She's this little cute Berta. thing. Berta, is that, I think it's called Berta Easy. Yeah. Which it, it ended up not being easy. Uh, I've made two Berta <laughs> things recently, and I do not like their directions. <laughs> I had trouble. I mean, I just kind of made it up. I've sewn enough. I can kind of figure it out and make something. But it's sixty nine fifty six Berta. But it's a cute pattern. I think the top would make a pretty, pretty little pattern. So that's it. Okay, I have uh, one whip here. I talked about it the other day, but I've gotten more done since then. Oh my gosh, my bag. Stuff's everywhere. You need some of those little brown. I need I need Mrs. a Mrs. Brown's Mrs. bag. Mrs. Brown's bag or a JoJo or somebody. Yep. <laughs> I do. I need to order. I don't think they can ship across the border right now. Probably but. not. Okay. Anyway. So this is my little um, tutu dress that I talked about last time. I have one of them done. And this is my second one. Came from the same book I've been talking about. The Cascade book. Sure. The 60 Quick Baby Knits. It's called Cabled Tunic. This is the pattern picture. So I'm making it in um, Cascade Cherub Aran yarn, which is an acrylic nylon. And this is the Sherbert colorway. I do not have my little pieces steam blocked yet, so they're not laying flat, but this is as far as I've got. Last time I just had the one ruffle going, and now I've got both ruffles on top of it, and then some cabling. So I've got like six more inches of cable and then the front will be done and then I'll make a back and sew it together. So next yep. time that will be done. Yeah, but she's fast. Yeah. She makes two to my one. Well, maybe. And I don't have to work right now, so that helps. I can focus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. I think that's, that's, that's it. We've wanted to show all this stuff for like a month now and it's been at my, stuck at my house. So <laughs> I finally, my husband, I caught my husband in a time where he could stop and go get it for me. So got yeah. it all. And I brought a huge laundry basket home and said, look what I got. Let's Ooh. make a podcast. <laughs> let's make a podcast and let's wash them. <laughs> yeah. They, they do have a kind of a sawdusty, not, not the sweaters because they were in drawers, but the blankets have a sawdusty kind of yeah. smell to them. Oh, well. So yeah. anyway, I think that's it for us today. Okay. Well, so we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.